in this video we are learning about ducks. After this video, you might know more about ducks than anyone else in your home or neighborhood or city. Unless if a bunch of them watch this video too. In that case, you can be duck experts together. The most basic thing that everyone needs to know about ducks is that ducks are semi-aquatic birds. Can you say semi-aquatic? Yeah! A semi-aquatic animal is an animal that lives partly on land and partly in the water. Ducks spend most of their time on and around water, but they also can spend time on land, so they are considered semi-aquatic. Or semi-aquatic, am I right? Which leads us to our next fact. Ducks love the water. It even looks like this duck is smiling in the water. Water allows ducks to keep themselves clean and helps them with eating. If ducks eat and do not have access to water, they can actually choke. Plus, there are so many things ducks can find to eat in the water. Have you ever seen a duck do this? Ducks often dunk their heads underwater to feast on things in the water like plants, insects, and fish. The next time you see a duck with its head underwater, just think, wow, I hope that duck finds something yummy to eat. Of course, that wouldn't be possible without a duck's amazing beak. The beak, or bill, as it is also known as, helps a duck discover food and is actually able to filter out stuff that the duck doesn't want to eat, like mud. Blech. Then the duck swallows what is left in its beak. What a cool system! The beak finds food, snags the food, filters the food, and then the duck swallows what's inside. Another amazing thing that helps ducks do so well in the water is their webbed feet. Ducks have webbed feet. They work kind of like flippers work for people. Their webbed feet help them swim. Without the webbed feet, ducks wouldn't be able to move well in the water. Webbed feet allows ducks to be great swimmers and helps them get to where they need to go in the water. Ducks have yet another advantage, one that is super cool. It's like a superpower. Ducks have waterproof feathers. Wow! Ducks naturally produce a special waterproof oil as they rub all over their feathers with their beaks. This is called preening. When a duck is preening, it is grooming its feathers and also applying the special waterproof oil. Can you say preening? Aha! Uh -huh, preening! Without this oil, their feathers would not be waterproof. But once they apply the oil to their feathers by preening, the feathers closest to their skin stay dry, even when they are in the water. This also helps ducks stay warm. Isn't that neat? All right, now we need your help. What are baby ducks called? Hmm. Yep, baby ducks are called ducklings. Aw, they are super cute and tiny. These three ducklings are kind of like the three musketeers. Look out for the ducklings! After they hatch, their mother leads them to the water. So right away the ducklings learn that they are semi-aquatic. Remember, semi-aquatic means that they live partly on the land and partly in the water. Are you able to see the duckling in this picture? Look closely. Yeah! Is the duckling going in the water or staying on land? Who knows? Okay, we've had fun. We've been learning about these interesting birds. But now we have to share something that is almost like a secret. It's like a duck secret. Most people don't know this. Are you ready for this duck secret? Lots of ducks don't quack. Isn't that strange? The most common duck in the world is the mallard duck. Here you can see a female mallard duck and a male mallard duck. Female mallard ducks quack, but male mallard ducks do not. Many other types of ducks don't quack either. 
So, if you hear a quack, there is a big chance that you are hearing a female mallard duck, a duck that looks like this, because most other ducks just don't quack. Hey, what was your favorite fact about ducks? Did one stick out to you? Comment below. We would love to hear what you enjoyed learning in this video. Poor rubber ducky. So close to the real water. All it ever wanted was to be a real duck. Not to just splash around in bathtubs, but to explore the wild. To catch food with its beak and to preen. You know, preening always did look fun. For now, be glad your owner took you on a boat ride. Be thankful, rubber ducky. Be thankful.